What's up guys, back again. Uh, it's been a while since I've been doing videos. Um, kind of stopped going to the swap meets. You know, I did go a little bit, uh, but nothing major. Um, you know, I think I went uh, recently with um, Shaq Funaki and uh, Air Force Shields. Uh, ended up uh, running into the NES Pursuit guys, Ricky and Aaron. Um, and also did a trade with... Uh, retro hungry for some uh, turbo games uh, but uh, I'm back for, for right now uh, I don't have that mu that many things I did pick up I only got a couple of things uh, but I did get something from uh, brother crazy cubano uh, he sent me a couple of games for uh, the Atari 2600 and again I really really appreciate that and just to show you the massive <laughs> massiveness of what he sent me um, they sent me a box full of uh, games, uh, and actually I don't have any of these. Uh, these so these none of these are doubles, uh, as far as what I have, uh, and none of them are doubles of what he sent me. Uh, but uh, let's start off with the first one: um, Real Sports Baseball Breakout, which is uh, one of my favorites. Uh, I think it's um, I'm trying to think what it's called, but I used to play that at the arcade. I don't know if it was called Breakout back then. Maybe it was. Uh, combat river raid as you can see uh, you got missile command berserker uh, trick shot which is billiards I love playing the billiards uh, spider fight or I mean spider fighter golf warlords Uh, Star Voyager Last three uh, Astro Blast uh, Space Attack and Air Raider Air Raiders, so Again big big thanks uh, Crazy Cabana for hooking me up with these games uh, If I ever run into any Neo Geo carts that are cheap <laughs> I'll, I'll be sure to send them your way, which is Which is kind of hard, but in reality, that's not I, I've seen some Craigslist ads where uh, Craig's list ads where somebody is selling some but i think they're for the arcades so i guess they're extra cards or something but you know if i ever have the cash i'll i'll pick them up and uh, i'll uh, send them out your way um as far as pickups at the swap meet um i think we ended up going me and uh air force shields and uh shack funaki uh we went to a swap meet that's close to where i live and uh, really didn't find anything. At least I didn't. Um, the, I did find one. Uh, it's from this vendor that we kind of frequently go and talk to. And um, he didn't want to budge on a price. Uh, he wanted 20 for this one game. And which is about what it goes for. More or less. Um, you know, I tried talking him down. Tried talking him down. And he didn't want to budge. He wanted 20. Um, he couldn't even know. He didn't even know what the game was. He just kept looking at it like couldn't read it. Uh, and I think Air Force knows, so the Shaq Funaki knows uh, who, what the game is. Um, but Air Force Shields bought a game from him and, you know, kind of was like, hey, you know, what if I bundle it in? Will you drop it to 15? Which is what I was trying to get for it. Um, and, you know, again, thanks to Air Force Shields, him and his uh, you know, persuasive ways was able to get it down to 15, which is, I still believe, not a bad price. Um, but I picked up. A Mega Man X for the uh, Super Nintendo. Um, I think I used to play this with my friend uh, when he had it. Uh, I never actually got to play uh, X2 or X3, uh, but not bad. Uh, I know that two and three are now up in like in the hundred dollars. Uh, I'm lucky I got that one for fifteen. I think that's what it goes for on eBay. Buy it now. Um, excuse me, but um, brother Air Force Shields hooked me up. Um, Hooked me up with The Legend of Zelda for the Game Boy, uh, original Game Boy. I uh, wanted it for the uh, my collect my Final Fantasy collection, which I'm pretty close to finishing. I'm still missing uh, Final Fantasy Legends 2. No, no, I have two. Uh, three and Final Fantasy Adventures. So those are probably the only two as far as Game Boy. Uh, the other one is Final Fantasy 6 for the Game Boy Advance. And I think I'm done. I think those are probably the only two that I would need. Um, other than that, you know, 
to box the Game Boy Advance game, uh, the Game Boy games, and also box my uh, NES Final Fantasy. And uh, speaking of Final Fantasies, <laughs> it's not a, a our raw pickup as uh, um, I think uh, Crazy Guano said or somebody mentioned to me, but oh, no, Tommy Boy, Tommy Boy forty five fifty, and uh, that's probably him texting me or Sapphic. Uh, <laughs> uh, picked up Final Fantasy anthologies. Um, David actually, uh, Shaq Funaki was the one that found it, and uh, I've been kind of wanting to get the greatest hits uh, to kind of add into the collection. Um, this does have a scratch, but other than that, it has still have a mirror finish, um, and of course, no manual. Uh, but both discs were there. Uh, this one doesn't come with the soundtrack; only the um, the black label comes with the soundtrack. Um, but he spotted it, um, and I kind of wanted it. I asked him, of course, you know, if he was going to pick it up. He said, no, he had it already. So I asked him, you know, if it's a cool, is it cool if I can pick it up? And he said, like, yeah, go ahead. And I think I only paid $3 for that one, um, which is funny. The uh, the vendor, uh, every time uh, Shaq, Shaq always picks up games, and he asks, well, how much are they? And they're, they always go to four, they always char want to charge him four bucks. Um, but yet if I get it or somebody else picks it up, um, you know, like I think Air Force, Air Force may have picked up a couple of games there. It's always $2. So it's kind of funny that when every, every time Funaki picks it up, it's, it always goes up by a dollar or two. Um, but I, I've been kind of wanting to get the greatest hits now that I already have the, all the black labels, um, just so I can have a, a copy that I play, um, and then, you know, keep the black label, uh, you know, put away. So keep it, you know, nice and minty fresh. Uh, as uh, brother uh, David DT used to say, um, the other one, it's not a pick. It is a pickup. I picked it up. It was mainly from uh, my son for Christmas, but you know, I kind of got it for myself also, which is uh, Call of Duty Black Ops Two. And I know it's a new gen game, and you know, shouldn't really belong in here, but you know, I did buy it. Um, damn, Cyphic, stop bugging me. Um, <laughs> You know, I, I like playing it. It's just fun. I mean, you just throw it in and you walk around and start shooting people. Um, recently, me and uh, Crazy Kivana, we've been kind of going at it, you know, doing some one-on-one. Um, -on -one and also, uh, we do a free-for-all every now and then. Um, also, a, a Devin. Um, I don't know. I can't recall your YouTube video channel. Um, but also, he gets, he jumps on there. And also, recently, uh, Scarface310. Um, he jumps on there too, so we all kind of have a little round roundabout fight. So, uh, you know, again, fun game just to kind of play. And the last ones, uh, let me show you what I got in trade with uh, Retro Hungry. Um, actually, no, I bought this one. I got this one off of eBay. I think for like ten bucks or fifteen bucks. Blazing Lasers. Uh, which I do have a copy of, but I kind of wanted it complete. Um, so I know that I, uh, me and um, uh, Mike Stank, Ma Stank Mask uh, Gardner talked about uh, 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 hooking him up with a copy of uh, Blazing Lasers, my loose my loose copy. Um, I told him I hook him up with it because I know he just recently picked up a Turbo, so he's part of the Turbo League or Turbo Man Group. Um, the other titles that I did get from in a trade um, is. Cosmic Fantasy, which is a working designs uh, game, which I'm trying to do a collection, at least for the systems that I have. Um, but um, not bad. You know, I kind of sacrificed two games that, you know, were boxed. But sometimes that's what you got to do to get the games you want. You know, some people don't want to do that, but I did, you know. Um, and the other one was uh, R-Type. Um, I got to play R-Type pretty fun, kind of hard, at least for me, because I'm not, I'm not the best at shooters. And, of course, I don't have a, a turbo CD to play this one, but hopefully I'll get a, a duo soon from uh, Cyphic if he still holds on to one. <laughs> um, the other games that I got, I also got uh, off of uh, eBay. Um, for, for some reason, this one's actually dropping in price. Um, it used to go from, I think, maybe 20 now it's at 15 I got this one for, like, about, I think, 14 uh, complete and shipped. So, not bad. Alien Crush. Uh, I've been playing this. Oh, there's nothing in the back. Uh, but again, lots of fun. Um, I know I'm trying. I want to get. All, I also want to get 
uh, Demon's Crush, which is still about $30. So I may have to wait on that one for a little bit. Uh, you know, if I find one out in the wild or somebody wants to trade trade it. Um, the other one, it's not really a game. I mean, it's a game, but um, I I bought the uh, manual and case for uh, Cybercore. And I got this at the uh, SC3 uh, this last year. I kind of wanted it completed, so I, I ended up finding a uh, case and uh, manual for a pretty good price. I think like four bucks. So, um, which is nobody was buying it. You know, it was just there. Yeah, I guess it must have been just listed, and I just happened to look that one day, and I, I was able to get it. The only thing is, uh, the clip is broken, but that doesn't matter. You know, it's it's fine. You know, it's not gonna not gonna affect the gameplay, <laughs> but. Other than that, that's all I've picked up uh, in, the, in the last maybe two, three months uh, since my last video. I think it was two months. But hopefully uh, things, uh, you know, weather-wise, I know it's going to rain this weekend. Um, maybe next week I'll probably go back to uh, hitting the swap meets and uh, see if I find any good deals. But uh, again, thanks again, guys, for, you know, watching my videos, you know, and uh, hopefully... Um, I can make more videos uh, for now. This will probably be the first one of this year for 2013. Hopefully I'll make another video in about another month uh, or, or sooner if I find, or find anything else. Uh, but other than that, you know, big thanks for, you know, keeping out, you know, keeping with me. Um, even though I'm not making any videos right now, uh, except for this one. But again, big thanks to everybody. And uh, hopefully I'll see you guys on the next one. Lates.